Now, some people, when they choose to go green, may find it hard to adapt. But as Howard Monroe Gray reports, two families right here in our area started from the ground up. Matt Kaufman and Ben Klibanoff are brothers-in-law. And a few years ago, they decided to fulfill their American dreams and build their own homes. Between the two of them, they have over 5,000 square feet of house. This is Ben's house, and right next door is Matt's house. Good design and good traffic flow for the people. We wanted to, we thought about environmental concerns. We wanted the house to be efficient, um, sort of green. And when deciding how to heat and cool 5,000 square feet of house, especially in today's go green mindset, they turned to Able Environmental. They come in after the design. Once the house was designed, Able Environmental then sits down with the blueprints and they go through each room, do calculations on each room, and they figure out the best way to design it accordingly. Both homes are heated and cooled with this unit, the geothermal system. Ray Mayer is the president of Able Environmental and has been designing the units for over 30 years. The fuel for this comes in, it's water, okay? 70% of the heat energy that comes out of here, which is, comes from solar energy stored in the ground, comes in in the form of water. That's your fuel. 30% is electricity. Essentially, the design of this unit is the basics of solar energy. The sun heats the earth, and the unit, which actually goes 30 feet below the house, takes that energy and distributes it through the home, keeping the entire house, every nook and cranny, at a constant temperature. There's holes in the ground and they have water circulating to them. And they heat exchange with the ground, and then they come, they come in here, circulate through this unit. This unit will either take heat off of the water or add heat to the water, depending on whether you're in the heating or cooling system. Ray likens this technology to that of the cavemen. Well, basically, the cavemen would go into a cave in the summertime because it was relatively cool, and they go into a cave in the wintertime because it was relatively warm. So what we're doing is we're taking that cave and moving it into your house. Matt says that while the system cost him over $80,000 to install, the cost to heat and cool his home is about a fifth of what it was in his old home. But he also had another reason for choosing a geothermal system. I have allergies and asthma, and one of the benefits of the design of the system was uh, takes a lot of the pollutants out of the air. In the unit, there's a germicidal and charcoal filter to rid the home of allergens. This will kill mold, mildew, bacteria. As a matter of fact, if you had anthrax in your house, that would kill the anthrax. Then all of that spore is deposited on this filter, which you then throw away. As mentioned, depending on the size of the home, a unit could cost upwards of $100,000. But according to Ray, who is the only designer and installer of the unit in New Jersey, and one of only 70 in the world, the return outweighs the cost. This unit, for every dollar that you spend for heating, you get back $5 worth of heat. For every dollar you spend in cooling, you get back $30 worth of cooling. Leaving the Klibanoffs and the Kaufmans to enjoy their new homes, and save some money in the process. In West Orange, I'm Howard Monroe Gray for WNBC News.